What's up, you guys? My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, you can slash the sub button to be notified of future readings. This is a um, the Gemini 96 for Sign of Gemini. This covers the name if you have Gemini in any aspects of your charts: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics: Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. The Gist in 96 is one of my newest series. It's the current pulling on the energy for approximately four days. Of course, everybody's on different time of life paths. So for some of you guys, this can resonate outside of four days, possibly. Only you know you're showing out anybody else. Um, I would encourage everyone to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs at least. And your cross watchers are welcome. Um, love and appreciate all you guys. If you feel guided to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Okay, so I received um, a channeling for, or actually two channelings for your um, Gist in 96, Gemini. I heard um, huge realization, and then I heard child support adjustment. So you plug it in how it resonates, huge realization and child support adjustment. So a huge realization is like a wake-up call, a bazinga, a light bulb moment, a what? So maybe one of you guys is getting a huge wake-up call, or somebody you're connected to is. Um, if you're just in 96, so I'm feeling maybe one of you guys are, but you have to plug in your own individual situation, how it resonates. One of these messages may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply, only you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of wake-up call energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, and then some kind of child support adjustment. Um, I don't know if this has already happened for some of you guys, or it's about to, or for somebody you're connected to. But I did specifically hear child support adjustment. So I feel one of you guys is about to undergo a child support adjustment or take someone to the court of law for a child support adjustment or, or something of that nature. Um, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. But like I said, this is your just in 96. So I'm feeling for a majority of you guys, it's you. But you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, we have the chariot reversed, the lovers reversed, princess of swords upright, six of wands upright, nine of wands reversed. The harp and upright. A Gemini's partner, legally married spouse, is about to have a very serious conversation with them soon about them being very, very, very unhappy in their marriage very unhappy for some they will want to work on it for some they are, had their ma mind made up they want a divorce oh my lord you plug it in how it resonates so if this resonates for you gemini you're legally married you're legally married if this resonates for you you're, you're legally married and uh it sounds like your partner so your partner is about to have a very serious, it sounds like very serious sit down conversation with you. Um, I'm, I feel this is like a sit down conversation. This isn't like cooking dinner in the kitchen and smacking ass and um, playing around. This is serious shiznit. Um, I feel sit down conversation here. For some of you guys, um, they want to work on the marriage. It sounds like for some, they want a divorce. And whoever this is for, whatever legally married Gemini this is for, I feel this is unhappiness has been going on a long time and I'm just being real because most legally, I mean, most sane individuals, they want to work on their marriage because marriages are huge things. They're huge investments. They're huge undergoings, undertakings. You just don't decide after having a couple problems, usually, oh, I want a divorce. No, usually the problems have been going on for years, year, probably years for some of you guys. For some, it could be like six months, nine months, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Only you know your story now, anybody else. But most sane people, they want to work on it. They want to work on it. They want to work on it before they decide to get divorced. Trust me, I've been divorced one time. Trust me, I know. That's kind of the energy I'm feeling here for the one that um, your partner is about to have like a sit down as type conversation with you. Because I heard that they've been very unhappy and it sounds like a long time. Now, however, the long time, Time frame applies for you, only you know you're starting out anybody else. But one, your partner's about to ask you for a divorce, basically. One, they're going to um, try to work on it with you. They're going to have a conversation and try to work on the marriage with you. 
So you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. But it sounds like some kind of serious sit down conversation, whether it's working on the marriage, trying to heal the marriage, trying to fix the marriage. Maybe for some, they're going to suggest marriage counseling. I didn't hear that, but maybe for some. And for some, they're finally deciding they want a divorce. So only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, they feel stuck in the marriage. Stuck in the marriage with the lovers. Chariot reverse with the lovers reverse. Stuck in the unhappy relationship. Um, for some, they want to work on it. For some, they want the divorce. A lot of truth, honesty, and clarity is about to come out. Taking action either to fix it or taking action for the divorce. No desire, drive, and motivation, either from you or the partner in the past, but trying to work on it, taking action to move forward. This is the marriage energy, the legally legally binding contract energy. So for some, they're going to take action to make it reversed. For some, they're going to take action to heal and fix it. I'm feeling for some, it might be uh, marriage counseling might be involved in this, possibly for some of you guys. But only you know your story, not anybody else. I didn't hear marriage counseling, but I am feeling for some that might be the route it's about to go. A sex shop is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life. Oh, Lord. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. And we've had a lot of sex shop energy in the energetic space recently. There's nothing wrong with some sex shop energy. As long as you do it healthy and copacetically. I, I feel like I got this a freaking sex shop on speed dial. Just saying, just saying. I'm a single as a Pringle woman. Trust me. Single as a Pringle women, we need sex shops on the speed dial, so to speak. Just saying. Um... Sex shop's about to become very significant in Gemini's life. So whoever you are, masculine or femme Gemini, I feel you could be one of these legally married situations or not. But some kind of sex shop energy. Um, maybe you're going to, if you're in a relationship, maybe you're going to spice it up with your partner. If you're in this situation, maybe you're going to try to spice it up and try to heal and fix things. If you're the one where your legally married spouse is deciding to finally end the marriage, maybe you're getting going to the sex shop to just, Help yourself until you get out of this mess. mess. Um, or if you're single as a Pringle, maybe you just want to, you know, go spice it up with yourself. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right. I love you guys so much. Namaste.